to say, really, but uh, man, it's, a, it's an honor to be up here, so thank you very much, committee, for selecting me. Um, wow, we got a couple days till the residents come back for second semester. Some are already here. And uh, like Crystal said, we may be feeling a little down in the dumps. If you feel like me, you're used to sleeping in until whenever you want to, and waking up and playing video games all day. <laughs> or you worked really hard the whole break and feel like you never even got a break to begin with. Either way, you might be down in the dumps. So, we can stay here in the dumps. Or we can fight our way back into the high spirits of last semester. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm just one man. <laughs> your senior staff, assistant hall director, not even your hall director can do that for you. We have to do that for each other. Look into the eyes of the person next to you. Go ahead. And I think you're gonna see a person who can do that for you. You're going to see someone who will sacrifice their social lives, their time, their sanity for your sake and the sake of the team this semester because they know when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same thing for them. That's a team. That's what being a res life staff member is all about. I think I've learned a thing or two about being a staff member. You know, being an RA or a DC is an honor, a privilege. RAs and DCs are not trained, they are chosen. <laughs> the skills, traits, and downright grit that are needed to do what we do every day, that's something that's innate. A gift we've given at birth. Man. We are the elites, my friends. The best of the best. The pro staff, central staff, Chancellor Gao, hell, the entire university. Look to us to represent you, WL, within the residence hall. They look to us to be both the vanguard leading the attack and the last soldier standing on the line of defense. And it has always been this way. The legacies of the RAs and DCs is one of glory and honor. We have always been here standing strong. We have always been here to hold the line. When the residence halls first opened, and we had no foundation to build from, no idea what we were doing at all, we held the line. During the 50s, when we had to run duck and cover drills for our residents, in case the Soviets gone, we held the line. During the first housing shortage, when Reuter was torn down, we held the line. And this last semester, during the second and most severe housing shortage this university has ever seen, we held the line. And this semester, when our residents realize their new roommate is a big tool or a sport of crap, we will hold the line. predecessors did for you, the sacrifices they made. Remember the sacrifices you've made. Remember why you wanted this job in the first place. And use those memories to bring yourself and your team out, out of the dumps. And go out there and be the best you can be and have a great semester.